Dinner! What? This is Agent Smiley in the containment center. I need to report this <laughs> Seen. Guess that's why they call it Mission Improbable. <laughs> More like Mission Chat Right, never in a million years. On account of Nia's hair would be way messed up from that bulky mask. Why can't someone make a decent spy flick for once? My sentiments exactly. <laughs> Which is why I need to see you ladies right away. <laughs> Since when does Jerry care about spy flicks? <laughs> Since right now, girls, I have exciting news. My dream of becoming a professional thespian is finally coming true. Professional thespian? What are you talking about? I'm talking about this. Let's all walk around the garden. Let's take a drift downstream. Let's have a stroll to the beach, my friend. We'll eat strawberries and cream. Oh, whoa, purple tights? Now that's what I call a tragedy. It's a comedy, actually. Pipster, I was the lead. Ever since college, when I minored in musical theatre, I've wanted to be an actor, and now I can. Okram Ariamal, a major Hollywood director, has tapped me to star in his latest big-budget spy flick, 0067. You? Indeed, me. Who better to play a spy than a real spy? Uh, I don't know. Maybe an actor? <gasps> oh, like Rad Pitt or that hunky dude Shaw? The reason spy flicks are so unrealistic is because actors don't know how to portray spies. Whoa! Wait a minute! Are you saying this director knows your secret identity? Oh, don't be so naive, Sam. These Hollywood types know everything. It's called being in the know. But you're not the type who becomes a star. I am! I mean, no offense, but aren't you a little past your prime? Oh, I get it. Six, seven, sixty-seven! That must be referring to his age! Joke all you want, girls, but the fact of the matter is, yours truly is headed for the silver screen. This is crazy! How are you gonna run a spy agency while you're off shooting a movie? I'm not. You three are. <gasps> I'm turning the day-to-day -day operations of Whoop over to you while I'm on set. After all, you're super spies now. You can handle it. No, we can't! Not with schoolwork and boys and shopping and boys and... It's only for a few weeks while I'm in Hollywood, until my film wraps. Then I'll be back and in charge. Just stick to this agenda and you'll do fine. Agenda? But I'm no good for the agendas! Jerry! I must be early. Chair, baby, you made it. Ah, Mr. Ariamal, so good to see you. Oh, please, call me Okram. Will do, Okram. Am I the first one here? Perhaps I should take the time to go over the script. Script? No, 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 no. This is cinema verite. It's done fast and on the fly. Oh, of course, verite. How cutting edge. So here's a little prop I cooked up. It's got a liquid trampoline, rubber dissolver, laser glass cutter, and most importantly, 0067's signature weapon, the freeze ray. I'll pretend, of course. Amazing! It looks almost real. Well, that's the magic of Hollywood, Jer. Now, the evil villain Lorenzo will soon pull out of his estate in his car. His plan to rob the museum of the Taylor Diamond, depriving the world of its beauty. Fiend. Exactamundo. It's 0067's duty to stop him like a real spy would. Using his fake gadgets, that is. This is terribly exciting. I can't wait to get started. Good, because here we go.
hear from my lawyer, you freak! Stealing isn't cool, Lorenzo, but this is... <gasps> Cut! Brilliant! You're a natural, Jer. Thank you. Though I must say, it all felt so real. The gadget, the tires dissolving. Well, that's special effects, Jer. These guys are the cream of the crop in their field. Well done indeed. Perhaps I should also congratulate my fellow thespians. Oh, method actor. You know how it is. They hate to break character even when the scene wraps. <laughs> oh, of course. I, I dabble in method acting myself. Excellent. So I'll meet you at the next location, Jerry Baby. I'm sure your second scene will be as brilliant as your first. Indeed. <laughs> Restock toilet paper in the Woop bathrooms? Order lunch for all the in-house agents? Doesn't Jerry know the meaning of the word delegate? Duh, he delegated all of Woop to us. Hmm, good point. Well, there's gotta be someone we can delegate to. We're super spies. <laughs> okay, how are we supposed to work with that going on? It's a red alert. Super spies. Awesome, a red alert's <gasps> definitely more important than toilet paper restocking. The head of a major Hollywood movie studio has been reported missing. He never arrived at work. The last place he was seen was in his Hollywood Hills home. I get to save a Hollywood movie studio mogul? This is so my chance to break in. Hey, we should give Jerry a call. After all, he's in Hollywood. Maybe he's seen something. Good thinking, Alex. If anything's going on, Jerry's got to be all over it. He's not one to miss a clue. <laughs> Hello? It's us, Jer. We just got a red alert and... Look, girls, I'm in the middle of my vocal exercises. It takes immense concentration. So whatever's going on, you'll just have to handle it. Oh, talk about rude. Um, maybe the stress of celebrity is getting to him. Either way, looks like we'll have to solve this one on our own. Perhaps a gadget or two might help. Here are the heat sensor motion detector sunglasses, ultra-inflatable tech vest, and the Wind Tunnel 9000 Tornado Blast hair dryer. Boring much? We're super spies now, as in where's the bling, Glad? That's more like it. We'll take three. But we don't even know what it does. Who cares? It's beautiful, and sometimes isn't that enough? is actually... Hold that thought, Glad. Got a jet. Hollywood awaits. Ladies. Are you sure Jerry won't mind if we borrow his jet? We're in charge, remember? So we might as well enjoy the perks. Totally. I mean, we're going to Hollywood. And if we can't arrive in a limo, we have to take the next best thing. Even if we don't know how to drive it! Ah! Ah! So, this is what a big wig studio mogul's house looks like. Nice. Everything seems normal. To the naked eye, maybe. Hmm. Thought for sure the heat sensor motion detector sunglasses would reveal something. Hey, what gives? Littering, which is so uncool. Sammy, wait. I think there's some writing on that paper. Bingo! We have our first lead, girls. Now all we need to do is a handwriting analysis. In this next scene, you'll infiltrate the office of evil Evelyn and take her out with your freeze ray before she calls her cronies out of retirement for one last heist. No props, Okram baby. That's my star. <laughs> Totally ruining my manicure. Just put them in the file cabinet for now. We'll alphabetize later. Hmm. Wrong button. Wonder what it does. 
pro on the indie prod rom-com, but the idea is giving us a hard time. Freeze, Evelyn, and I mean that literally. Cut! Magnifique! You're a natural 0067. You're gonna be huge at the box office. Well, it does come naturally. Hold it right there, intruder! Jerry? Jerry? Girls? What's going on here? Well, what's going on is we're shooting a movie and you're interrupting! Uh, if this is a movie, then why does she look so seriously freaky? Maybe the handwriting analysis wasn't wrong after all. Maybe Jerry is involved. It's called method acting, Sam. You'll have to excuse them. They know nothing of the craft. Now, please leave. Can't you see I'm busy? We're not here to see you, Jer. We're here on official boot business. Such passion. <clears throat> Did anyone ever tell you girls you should be in pictures? <laughs> Only every day. This is too wonderful. You three are just perfect for the junior spy roles. Uh, just stand here. <laughs> and... <laughs> Your stunts in this movie are truly magnificent, Ogrum. It's gotta look real, or no one will believe it, right? Ah! What are we gonna do? Ah! I don't know, but when I dreamed of leaving my mark on Hollywood, this so isn't what I had in mind. Don't worry, girls. All you have to do is hold on tight and hope we don't land on anything pointy. <laughs> I call a killer action scene. Yeah, only somehow I don't think we'll make it into the final cut. Totally. I mean, there's so obviously something up with that Okram character. You mean the way he's brainwashed Jerry? Well, that and the way he launched me through a window instead of using me in his movie. Hello? What kind of loser director is he? Come on, I think it's time to do some digging into Okram's credit list. <laughs> He doesn't even have credits. This guy's not an A-list director. <laughs> no wonder he doesn't know talent when it's staring him in the face. Maybe we need to come at it from a different angle. Let's do a search on Whoop's past baddies. <gasps> Look at that! Marco Lumiere escaped from a Whoop prison a few days ago. Hey, he's the wannabe who couldn't break into showbiz, so he forced everyone, including us, to be in his lame-o movie. So he changed his name and face, but his M.O. is still the same. And this time he's using poor Jer to do his dirty work by tricking him into taking out Hollywood's top execs. We gotta get to Jer before Lumiere decides he doesn't need him anymore. And I know just where to find them. Lumiere took out the top two studio execs so far, so his next target will be the third top mogul in Hollywood. <laughs> One for you, and another for you. Here you go. For you, and another for you. Uh, thanks. Oh, you're so welcome. Oh, how I love spending time with my adoring fans. We're losing daylight, Jer, so we gotta get this in the can ASAP. Now, in this next scene, 0067 captures the brains behind the entire Taylor Diamond heist. Not so fast, Lumiere. Lumiere? 
Girls, Okram is an A-list director, and I'll thank you not to let your petty jealousies ruin my stardom. Jerry, you don't understand. I understand completely. From now on, my focus is my new career. I'm handing Whoop over to you permanently. <gasps> Jer, this is for your own good. Uh, uh, Clover! Uh. Okay, so we had plastic surgery to change his appearance. It's not just for women anymore, you know. Get rid of them! Yes, sabotaging a movie shoot is quite unforgivable. Sorry, Jerry, but there comes a time when the student must become the teacher. <laughs> no film, but my performances. <laughs> Jer, baby! The film's a thing of the past. This is the newest technology. Can it, Lumiere? I'm on to you. Not if I'm on to you first. I don't think so. Oh! protection. Uh, talk about a fashion coup. Guess it's time for a little turbo action to melt the freeze. Ooh, ooh. Pins and needles, pins and needles. Uh. Thank you. Now it's time to give Lumiere the performance of my life. Jer, wait! Okay. What? It's his big scene. He's got to look the part. Up, Lumiere, you couldn't direct traffic on a one way street. That's about as clever as your 0067 dribble. But this casting session is closed! <laughs> Didn't your mother ever tell you it's not polite to point? Hey! <laughs> <laughs> oh. If you don't mind, I'd like to do the honors. After all, I wasn't cast as 0067 for nothing. you can use a little cooling off. Yay! Yay! Bravo! Thank you. Thank you. Oh, you're too kind. Oh, my. Were you girls reorganizing? Uh, yeah. That's it. Reorganizing. I suppose now that my career as a professional thespian didn't work out, I should be happy I can return to my spy career. Uh, check that chair. Whoops, ours now, remember? And if you want to come back, you'll have to work for us. You can start by restocking the bathroom. Can I please get some toilet paper? Open up, open up! Hey, can you have a monkey run in this joint? What are they talking about? Several agents are filing grievances. You'll receive mine shortly. On second thought, welcome back, boss. <laughs> Amateurs. <sighs> hey, friends. Today I'm going to share a little secret for those of you who want to become spies. For instance, as 
espadrilles? If I'm being attacked by a baddie in espadrilles, I know she's the sensible type. Pumps, I'm dealing with a determined yet fashion conscious villain. Loafers, by the book much. Even my shoes say something about me. <laughs> oh, like I was saying, footwear means nothing. <laughs> oh. Oops. 